Let's play Solar Winds. Let's play Solar Winds. Epic Mega Games. This doesn't look quite right. Is this a bug? Okay, mouse, music, sound, we want that on. Let's get started. Definitely a graphical bug there. I'm actually going to restart. Okay, this seems better. These graphics, I think, have aged really well, especially the portraits here. Very nice, and this kind of small pixel font is kind of trendy, at least in indie games right now. So yeah, I think overall the graphics in this beginning gutscene have aged really well, really nicely. Okay, now we are in control. Press C to communicate, okay. This guy is leading with the criticism. You are more ugly. Gimlack. Sector minus one oh five five nine nine six. I'm gonna write this down just because this seems like the kind of game where we want to take notes on potential places to go explore. So this is kind of a warmongering species here.
Okay, so he's leaving. There's a lot going on on the screen here. Let's figure out what to do. F1 is the main menu. Okay, and there's a question mark. Let's see what happens. We press question mark. Not what I meant to do. We are Jake stolen a bounty hunter. Our destination is sector negative 31 1. So meet that guy from the intro cutscene. Emer Kane. We can use keyboard, mouse, and joystick. I'm going to try to just use the keyboard as much as possible. The mouse if necessary. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, I think we know enough. So, let's go ahead and go to that sector. We'll check out all these screens later. Negative 31 1, so we need to go left. Oh, and down. So, alt. And that's our cannon. Whoops. Almost missed it. Okay, so here's a guy. Let's try science. So science gives us an analysis of the ship and tells us who's on it. Communicate. Sector negative six, negative seven, minus six, minus seven, I guess I can say. Okay, I guess this EBN converter is a big deal. So we have a mission now, we have to go collect this fugitive. So how are we going to do that? Looking through the options here, cargo, we don't have any cargo. Engineering, so it looks like we've got such and such amount of power and we can choose how we want to distribute it between our different systems. Pressing these buttons turns shields on. We have different waveforms, types for the shields. Science, we already did. We scan stuff with that. Weapons, same thing. We've got different waveform shapes for the weapons. That's kind of interesting. Okay, maybe I don't need to write this stuff down because it's going to keep a log for me. Very convenient. So we're going to go to negative six, minus six, and minus seven. I have played Solar Winds before. It's been a very long time, just like most of the games that I'm playing on this channel. I remember it being good. 
I remember really enjoying it. I'm not sure I've ever played it with the sounds. And so far I'm pretty impressed by that, by the, uh, by the sound effects, as well as the music. And this is, this is sort of a space exploration RPG, so sort of... Oh, got attacked. I guess I'm not going to try to engage anybody in combat right now. Unless, unless we have to. Well, I forgot what I was going on about. Let's go and see what's happening here. Minus seven, minus eight, this is probably it. So we can see their shield type and cannon type, so presumably either matching or or opposing whatever type they have is going to be more effective against them. Let's let's hail them first. See what the offer is. Hmm. So we have a decision to make here because we were going to get the E band converter, which sounds like a, a big deal. Okay, so this guy is going to let us destroy a ship so we can still satisfy Kane and get our e van converter. Yeah, let's do it. Sounds like a plan. done. So now we, let's take the scientist to sector 1413. Let's drop him off first and then head back to Kane. So we took some damage there. And the shields are gone, so I wonder how we repair them. Let's take a look. Nothing available. Okay, so we need some more power. We need better power distribution to be able to do this. We don't have it, so I guess we just leave it alone for now. This reminds me a lot on the surface of Starflight. I've 
got a passing familiarity with it. Okay, how do we do this? Cargo? Okay, transport. Yeah, I wonder when we'll meet that silver guy. We'll head to Kane now. Minus 31 one. We'll see if he believes this. I like the soundtrack here a lot. This is definitely FM music done right. Okay, is this Kane's ship? Okay, that worked. Hopefully we don't see him again. Okay, so Evan Converter is now on. What does this thing do? Nothing. I mean I guess this is this is useful once we destroy other ships. We get their power or something. So the second sector is very far away, so we'll take a look at sector minus 43, minus 15. I wonder if there's any reason to lower the shields or if it makes sense to just always have them on. I would do you go faster. Maybe you go faster with the shields off. We'll play with it in a second.
Okay, courier mission. Before we do it, I'm gonna see if I can even out the shields a little bit. Can we... Yeah, so we take some... some energy from our... four shields. And right shields, and... Yep. Kind of even out. Okay, great. So now we're going to sector 6 minus 16. That's pretty close. And I, I guess we can maybe find some stuff along the way too. Exploring a little bit. Not too much shield power, so I want to avoid conflict if possible. Pretty easy to do so far. frequency or waveform shape of the beams and shields yet. Trying to avoid these guys and just finish the mission. Okay, so hopefully we can just kind of fly by and drop it off. engage those guys in combat, but it seems pretty risky right now. Just gonna avoid it for now. Soon enough I'm gonna engage someone in combat because I want to. So pressing the N button, yeah that kind of, uh, that, that, that switches you back and forth between the combat view and the regular view. So Z and X zooms you out and back in.
MK, so... Looks like the only mission we have available is to get challenged this person, destroy a ship, and come back and get this cloaking device. So I'd say it makes sense to maybe try to find a couple of smaller targets right now. So I'm going to go back over to kind of where we were. And let's see if we can take one or two of these little things out. The other ship is fleeing. Okay, good, so we got some power out of that. Reactor 45 available, 20. Two times of missiles also. So let's try those. Let's go fight a few more of these little guys. So something, <laughs> something happened there. Um, the game got really fast for some reason. And I guess we don't have a loaded, we don't have a save game, so I have to start over. Too bad, okay. So the lesson here is to save the game. And we'll do this faster now. I think that we get their power when we destroy them until we get that E-band converter, so we'll go ahead and pick that up first. Ok, 
Okay, 14, 13. So we're going to be able to upgrade our ship, upgrade our weapons power, our life support, shields, and engines, which I guess means we're going to be able to go faster, and at some point we're going to find some kind of faster than light travel or something, because that's how we're going to get to this minus 1055996 sector, which is too far away to go to right now. We could get there eventually, I guess. It'd just take a very long time. on. Let's turn shields on. How do we do that again? Um, yeah, shields on. Weapons on. And now lesson learned will save. I don't know. Zero. Okay, so is there anything in the manual about different wavelengths of weapons and stuff. figure it out. Okay, so take scientist to Titus. Did we do that? Yeah, we did that, but it's still showing up. So that's a bug, I guess. Okay, minus 43, minus 15. If we see anybody on the way, we might engage them in combat. Sector 6, minus 16. We'll 
get in a couple fights on the way. So the game gets too fast in war mode sometimes. It's just something we're going to have to watch out for. Alright, nice. So now we've got power. So let's go ahead and go to engineering, and we're going to increase the power to our weapons for sure, and our engine too. We'll, we'll do mostly weapons, since it looks like we're a good bit stronger than the, the kind of ships we're seeing right now. Okay, too fast. So we... Here we go. Yep. Not sure how to handle this. Eventually it corrects itself. Some of these ships are pretty tough. So that's fine, that means we kind of pick and choose our battles. that again. Allocate. Oh, we need to bring up the right shield. And then allocate the rest to the weapons. one away from the other. Okay, 
sure who we were fighting this uh, nope. So we delivered our package, now we can go back and get the payment. The payment will be missiles, which that will give us a better chance against all these ships. Let's go ahead and save. And we're going to minus 43, minus 15 again. Of course, now we can get there faster by redirecting our weapons power to the engine. I assume that gets us there faster. Okay, so let's go ahead and challenge this person, Modian, and maybe on the way we can find some combat. So we're going to go to minus 20, minus 40. Let's see what we got there. Weapons. Yeah, so I guess one of these is just straight fire and one of these is heat seeking. Similar to what we had before. I guess we'll stay away from groups of ships right now and try to just find single encounters. 
that's possible. So that's not great for our encounter upcoming. But we'll see what we can do. We have a problem, we'll reload. So let's see if we can prepare for this a little bit. Divert from the shields to the from the engines to the forward, aft left shields. Doesn't give us too much from weapons. We can bring a little bit from life support, which is probably, it sounds bad, but it's letting us do it, so we'll see. Life support energy is low. I guess, okay, I guess we shouldn't do that. Is this our target? Well, the shields here are in much better shape. Maybe this is possible. I don't know. We'll see. So let's change to heat-seeking missiles and give this a shot. Looks like we're frozen up right now. Hmm. Too bad. Okay. So we're going to quit and let's try running this in regular DOSBox instead of DOSBox X. Okay, we'll see how this works. Hopefully this does the trick for us. So 
where were we? Going to sector minus 20, minus 40. And we were gonna... What were we gonna do? Oh yeah, diverse in power from engines to weapons. do that. And challenge this guy, so save. And I'll put on heat-seeking missiles. And let's boogie. person had a death wish. Why? Well, I'm not sure. Prepared for another fight right now. Can we heal? You are marked for termination. <laughs> Communication is finished. The silver person. This looks like the person in the cutscene before it was talking to that important person. I'm not sure if we can win or not right now. Standard robot ship. Hmm. Let's give this fight a shot. So I say save. And let's get in here and, and uh, get some power to the shields. Those ships are pretty well equipped. But that was nice, we got a lot of power off of that. So 
we can bring our weapons up to max. Yeah, good. And if that's another one, then we can get that one too. there. Okay, so we'll go ahead and go to Modian's Challenge. So we did that, right? Did we not get credit for the mission? Minus 20, minus 40? Were we supposed to do something besides just destroy that ship? is definitely gone. So we're not getting credit for all our missions. It's, I guess, a bug in the game. And I kind of vaguely actually remember that might have been a, a problem back in 1993 or whenever, too. Well, that's too bad, but let's see what else we can do. This is where we were supposed to go when we were done and collect the reward and everything. Bring back the object to get us. Were we supposed to not destroy him and instead get some sort of object from him? Maybe. Guess I'll restart and try again. It 
does look like going to DOSBox instead of DOSBox X resolves that combat speed issue. That's good to know. Turn to Kane. The brightness of the green dot in the middle of the ship is the condition of the hull. Of 
shields, really. Aft shields need more power probably than forward shields. Okay. Deliver to six minus sixteen. to get some wins early on because you really get the feeling and sense of being weak when you first start. Let's get for this one too if we can.
I want combat there, but there's two of them. One of them's probably a fast firing ship. So that thing where the missions weren't getting crossed off the list in the last game, I wonder if I went too fast and skipped the cutscene after the first mission, if that confused the game. Alright, so we're going to go get this item. And challenge him. Okay, so I, th I thought we hailed him last time and there's no response and that's why we went ahead and just destroyed his ship, but let's see what we got. Minus 20, minus 40 is where we need to go. And we'll probably avoid those robot ships this time around. Got some energy. Minus twenty, minus forty. this planet last time, but maybe not.
this. I don't know if the heat-seeking missiles are really that beneficial. They're kind of hard to, hard to aim. I'm just going to leave them on the straightaway missiles. Or what was that other person calling them dumb fire missiles? We just go ahead and fire. Fire when ready. Easy. Now about that book. Okay, what's our bonus? What did we get? Core fluid? Reactor core liner is refilled. Okay. Oh, this gives us a new shield type. Or it was a different thing that we also got from that guy. He gave us a lot of stuff. Pretty well now, looking pretty good. So now back to minus 43 and minus 15. And those are two robot ships, I'm gonna try to avoid them. Another game created pretty much by one person, as far as I can tell, James Schmaltz. And if you did all the graphics and portraits, in addition to all the, the code, which of course he did, and that's pretty impressive. Maybe that's maybe the graphics are outsourced, or at least some of them. Congratulations. This can't be good. The government. I wonder if this is Star Trek 6 cloak or other, other cloaks where we can't fire more cloaks. Let's see. So we're going to the government planet in minus 12, 12. Minus 12. Yeah, minus 12, 12.
this game has a kind of unique upgrade system in a certain way because we don't, as far as I know, get new ships. Nor do we get, uh, nor do we really buy shield upgrades or anything like that, but we can destroy other ships and get more power and get more power to our components that way. Of course, there are these different weapons types that we haven't seen too many of yet. different shields types. What was it? Minus 12, 12. Hyperdrive. So robots attacked me, question mark. So we have the hyperdrive now. And we can go to either of these places. It looks like the investigation mission is a little closer, so let's try that. what this plus and minus are doing down at the bottom. This is using up engine power. Yeah, 
and we won't have enough to make it, so we we'll need to get more power somewhere. Power from weapons. Oh, we have plenty of power left. Hmm. Available. Okay. Can't make Harper Drive speed zero. Okay, so this is our hyperdrive speed, I guess. Getting it? Okay, so minus 105.596, that's really fun. starting to get the hang of how to work the hyperdrive. And wait, so is this place on the way? Yes. Yeah, the investigation mission's on the way to the other mission, so that's good. It's not in the opposite direction. And lives alone on a planet. Like that, uh, what was that show? The Little Prince or something? There was this little kid that lived on a moon that he could walk around in a couple minutes or something like that. But somehow the gravity worked out.
Okay. So we're gonna dress up like one of those things that we saw at the, at the game. That's rude. One of that species that called us ugly at the beginning of the game. Glad we stopped here first, I guess. So sector nine, minus one seven seven nine twelve ninety. Okay. mind must be blown. Wouldn't it blow your mind if all of a sudden you discovered that faster than light travel existed and you got it in the same day, in the same conversation really. So this uh, solar winds is kind of like I remember it. It's barely linear in the respect that there's not a whole lot of stuff like side quests. There's not a whole lot of decisions you can make that affect the outcome of the game. There's a route for you to go on and you just go on it. But I don't know what happens if you don't take missions. Uh, whoops. If you just refuse a mission, I mean, I think it just don't make progress in the game. I guess we're in the Rigian system now. We've got to find the supply depot. We don't know exactly where it is. And we have hostiles after us. So I'm not sure what we do about that. some power to sensors. Will that do anything for us?
No response. No response here. What if we uncloak? No response. So maybe one of these ships around here will respond to us. Not that one. are to try to take out these ships or to try to explore a little bit and find this thing. Find the supply depot. You're something. Why are they firing us anyway? Oh, because we're in an alien ship. I see. weapons too. crystals are our fuel. Yep. That's kind of interesting, so that, you know, let's keep fuel in here. So the last time we fueled it was something else, or some other source of fuel, so the different species or uh, cultures or, you know, whoever use different fuel, and that's kind of interesting. Minus 105.5996. Different civilizations, that's what I mean. just run into this thing kind of in the middle of nowhere. Okay. There was a planet on the radar that I wanted to explore since we just ran into it, but it disappeared after the hyperdrive was disabled. Back. 
So Titus is where that scientist was from, I think. I'm trying to follow the story here. Is it? Is it Titus? Okay, the two planets are really close to each other, so that's fine. So there's the government, and the government is doing bad stuff, and then there's the rebels that the government guy was talking about, and I guess they're associated with Titus. Getting close, so I guess we'll go to the government planet first. So that's minus 12, 12. Let's see what they have to say. Presumably they're going to be surprised we're alive. Does he not want to know the details about the rescue? Sector 1413 is going to be Titus. But you know that guy, the government guy needed to refuel us. I guess, no, that's not fuel. 
So yeah, man, we can't do it right now. We'll go back and hassle them in a second if we don't let fuel some other way. Kind of funny that the game is slower with the hyperdrive than before you get it. But hey, it's a hyperdrive. It's, it's neat to have a hyperdrive. It is. shareware game and this is episode one of that game. I know that I've not played the sequel. I don't think it's really episodic. There's well I mean it's episodic but there's only two. Whereas a lot of shareware games have three episodes or even more than that. But there's this solar ones and then there is a sequel. So maybe we'll play the sequel too. spellings in this game, I've noticed. Missiles without an eye down there in the bottom. And missiles.
All right, so we're here to stop this person from blowing up the wormhole or whatever. That's the wormhole. This is the guy. we're going to go well we got a save game let's see what happens I guess we don't get any credit for doing that. Game over without an ending. something we're carrying that makes us explode. I don't even remember where this Tresillion came from. So let's turn our stuff off. Go. So the Tresillium made us explode. No idea what's going on there. ship.
nice. Okay, so that's part one. In part two, well, they didn't leave us much to go on there. I don't know exactly what's going to happen. But I guess we'll learn more about the government, the rebels, and this alien race that apparently has created humans and distributed them all over the galaxy, universe, to see what they do. Nice. Well, solar winds. It's a little more simplistic than I remember. Pretty linear. Not a whole lot to do besides the main story, but pretty fun. It's a good space exploration RPG. Nice graphics. Good sound. And pretty entertaining. So I think we'll probably play part two at some point on this stream. So thanks for joining tonight, and I'll see you later.